Hello everybody, this is Michael from Anger Tech and Apple just finished their Worldwide Developers Conference and they announced a lot. So first off, we're going with iOS 10. Now this is an awesome update, it brings some awesome new uh, features like new lock screens, tons of message, uh, message like updates to, to make it a better experience. Um, Siri is now open to developers, the app store is open um, and messages to developers. Um, you can replace things with emoji like this uh, so if you want to say basketball there's basketball you can have stickers personal touch it's really inspired by the watch I can tell um, series just opened apps as I said maps is redesigned and uh, now takes like uh, it's open to developers as well there's a lot of developer uh, things there's a new app called home and it just uh, does smart home stuff which is pretty awesome Apple music has been redesigned I don't know if I like it there's a lot of bold and everything um, this is a feature I really like, raise to wake. So just like the Apple Watch, if you raise it to your, uh, if you just raise it, there you go, raise to wake it, and there you go. Um, your phone is awake, touch and go. Um, so 3D touch, you can see widgets and stuff, which is pretty cool. Interactive notifications, so 3D touch to respond to your notifications. Contextual predictions, so Siri has been better, uh, like she, she can do more like predictions so if you want to say John's number just click this little John Bishop home um, news has never looked so good they changed news changed the icon uh, looks pretty good I don't use news I use flipboard so uh, photos looks like a better Google photos competitor now uh, it has basically the same features it makes videos for you you can have face detection and all that Apple pay is now available on the web which is pretty awesome and multilingual typing which like so if you speak Spanish and English you can type in it uh, both times it supports that so it is available this fall and today for developers I have a video on that soon once it's out it's like two minutes ago the keynote ended so uh, I'm still waiting to get the download and stuff so it's available for all phones iPhone and up iPhone 5 and up so 4s I'm sorry you're gone and it's still available for the same iPads as iOS 9 iPods same thing 6 and 5 but it's available for iPad 2 that thing is old and iPad mini too uh, but the iPad 2, that is old. That's an old iPad. Um, so, yeah. So, the next thing that uh, uh, was announced, well, this was actually announced before this, but Mac OS Sierra. So, oh, didn't want to do that. This is the new uh, OS 10. And, whoops, okay, there we go. What can your Mac do? Just ask. It's coming this fall, uh, beta today. That is a beautiful picture. Um, Siri is on the Mac. We all knew that. It looks great. Um, she can locate files. It, she's just really smart on the Mac. That's basically the main feature. Photos has the same updates. Um, uh, so there's a login. That I actually think this is pretty cool. You can log in with Apple Watch. So as long as the watch is near, like this, uh, you can log into your Mac, which is awesome. So you can, and also with uh, the iPhone, you can copy something on your phone. It can be a video, text, or anything, and just paste it on your Mac, and there you go. Um, and iCloud Drive is accessible everywhere, and it saves stuff in the um, cloud. Oh, here's optimized storage. It saves stuff in the cloud for you um, with optimization, so you can have more space on your Mac, which is pretty cool. And with messages, same updates. You can liven up the conversation with emoji and everything. Emoji are big now, so it's basically they took some sniff from Snapchat. Um, so iTunes now is an all-new Apple Music experience. It's awesome. Looks the same as the. Uh, the regular iOS one. And in tabs, you can get your docs in a row. These are the tabs keep one eye on, on, and you can have picture in picture, which is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, tabs and um, uh, pages, that's what it's called. And it's available uh, in the fall once again, which is pretty soon. It's available today for developers. There's a public beta in July, I think, as with iOS 10. And the other thing, Watch OS. This is awesome. There are some awesome new features. They have really improved the watch. It feels all new. I'm, de I'm definitely getting this today. Um, the side button that used to be the friends has potential now. Um, apps are super fast. It has a new app called Breathe. We'll go over that in a sec. So faster access to your favorite apps. You click the little side button. This one right here with my mouse, I am circling. Um, that one, it's awesome. It makes your favorite apps there. It's a uh, Doc, basically. There's new uh, new faces. Eh, they should have opened it to developers. 
but this uh, this face is pretty cool. It's pretty unique. Uh, Minnie's now here, and there's an activity face, which I really like. And if you swipe all the way from, so if you look at my mouse, from this way to this way, you'll get uh, your multiple faces, which is awesome, because I change mine a lot. So you can now activity share, so it's like Fitbit, where you can challenge your friends and everything. Awesome. And fitness for all. And so if you have a wheelchair, um, it says time to roll now, which is actually pretty cool. Um, and it, it they've developed a new system for people in wheelchairs, which is awesome. And workouts are changed. They're just better. The Breathe app, I don't really know. Apple wants us to breathe. There we go. And um, say it with a little flair. You can have the messages, updates, and everything, which is awesome. And you can, like, without I this is probably my favorite feature of the watch uh, new watch os you can use your finger to actually write messages instead of looking like a weirdo talking to your watch in public so that is my favorite feature of watch os that's awesome and you can control your home and if you hold down the uh friends button again you can do sos which i it's cool but it may it may like go off and there may be issues but uh, it, there is no public beta, but it is available today, and it's coming this fall. And the final thing that Apple re um, released, well, Swift Playgrounds, that's pretty cool, it's a coding thing, is a new version of Apple TV, which, there we go, see the preview, I don't watch it on the front. Um, TV, I don't really care about this, I don't have an Apple TV, but yes, yeah, Smarter Siri can use it on YouTube now, which I heard people were excited about. There's a dark mode. Uh, not on iOS. What are you talking about, Apple? Um, yeah, I guess Apple Music now. Uh, you can. Oh yeah, you can control through your phone, which is pretty cool. I I'm really hoping to get an Apple TV soon. Uh, and you can do HomeKit stuff, which is awesome. And you can, I guess, apps universally download now. So that's it. So that's basically what they announced today. No new hardware. So yeah, I will come at you with beta videos as soon as I can. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.